TikTok and ByteDance are suing to block the new U.S. federal law that forces the sale or ban of the popular app. In Tuesday's lawsuit, the Chinese company says the new law violates the U.S. Constitution. The petition mentions the First Amendment 27 times. The lawsuit reads, banning TikTok is so obviously unconstitutional, in fact, that even the act's sponsors recognize that reality and therefore tried mightily to depict the law not as a ban at all, but merely a regulation of TikTok's ownership. That's because the law gives two options, get banned in the U.S. or sell off TikTok. But ByteDance claims the divestment option is simply not possible, not commercially, not technologically, not legally and especially not in the 270-day time frame. The law calls for TikTok to be banned one day before President Biden's current term expires. ByteDance says there is no question the act would force a shutdown on that day, silencing 170 million Americans who use the platform to communicate in ways that cannot be replicated elsewhere. They also said the Chinese government would not let them divest the recommendation algorithm, which makes TikTok so valuable. Lawmakers moved to pass the TikTok ban out of concern the Chinese government could access U.S. user data and use the app to influence public opinion. In a Reuters Ipsos poll released this month, 58% of responding Americans do believe the Chinese government uses TikTok to influence American opinion. Only 13% disagreed. The rest were unsure or didn't answer. The same poll found 50% of Americans support banning TikTok, 32% opposed, and the rest were unsure. Support for the ban skews older, while Republicans are more likely than Democrats to see China using the app to affect U.S. opinions. Well, despite signing the TikTok ban now in question, Biden is still using the app for his presidential campaign. And though former President Trump has floated a TikTok ban in the past, he has since changed his tune and his campaign is considering using the app to reach voters. I'm Simone Del Rosario for Straighter News.